Oh, yeah, there's plenty more where that came from. You trying to kill me, Lovage? Haven't you ever done this before? What is this, 1999? If I wanted something that old in my mouth, I'd still be working across the street. Really? You worked under Big Anus? How dare you? I was usually on top, and quit changing the subject. You're in enough trouble as it is. A sheep, Larry. A fucking sheep. But it was really cute. This studio stock has dropped 58 points since that ego issue hit the stands. What were you thinking? It wasn't my fault. Yeah, that's what they all say. Oh, Kip stole this. Kip impregnated that. Just like UFO whack jobs. Never a shred of solid proof except for the implants and the flying babies. Oh, I'm here really hot, so I guess it's true. Now, as luck would have it, today's the first day of shooting for our blockbuster western, Beefcake Mountain. And thanks to you, however, our male lead has gone into an emotional tailspin and refuses to come out of his trailer. Well, have you tried a dog whistle? Larry, I'm not a veterinarian. All I know is that trying to find another actor in this town whacked out enough to tongue another man's taint in the name of art at this hour? Simply not in the budget. Ergo, I need you to bumble your way to Soundstage 1 and tell the director we'll have to postpone the shoot. Why can't you just call him? Me? Listen to that loudmouth hack? Just to cover up your fuck-up? Now get the hell out! And don't think this means you're off my shit list, either. Gee, I have to tell a pompous snob he can't shoot his movie yet. Why don't I feel bad about it? Maybe after I tell Hugh filming's gotta be delayed, Amy will need some help off with her costume. I better find Hugh fast and tell him filming's been put off before he shoots the whole flick. That's my personal space, you stepping in, buddy. Looks like Beardy's gonna have to cool his jets for a few. The director has to be in here. Uh, cut! That's perfect, Amy. Now let's try one more in Fortran. Also, Freddy, lose the nipple tape. Not doing what I needed. Uh, hi, are, are you the director? If you're here to subpoena me, you can save your breath, because there's not a judge in this town I haven't bribed. Well, actually, Denise sent me. Look, Damone's indisposed, and you gotta postpone shooting. What? But today we shoot his love scene! Well, that's showbiz. Ah, damn shame. I really needed somebody to run lines with Amy here, too. Oh, Hugh, have him do it. Unless he has a problem with female nudity. Nah, that's no good. We need a trained lesbian. Why a lesbian? Huh? Did I say lesbian? I meant thespian. Huh, really? I, I didn't know my mom was a thespian. That's it. What's your name again, Harry? Never mind, never mind. Spoilers. What I need from you is to go find Clark Tasselbuff and get him here on delay. He should be lying around the theater building. Just follow the smells of vomit and ego and then hang a sharp right. <laughs> Clark who? Cl Clark Tasselbuff. One of the top lesbians in the history of film, if you don't count digital. Tell him Hugh called and it's time to call in that favor. If that doesn't work, maybe try dragging him. Good luck, Hairlip. I'll do what I can. Bye, Amy. Bye, Larry. Don't be such a stranger. So, to the theater to meet Clark. I think it's near the entrance into the studio. I know that old Lush. He's gotta be inside this theater somewhere. It does kinda look like a bar from the outside. At least maybe to someone with alcohol-detached retinas. Hey, this is Mark Ann. 
Get your own, you scrawny weasel. I take it you're Clark. Who's asking? You ain't the boss of me, are you? You ain't the boss of nothing. <clears throat> I don't need no stinking chaser. My name's Larry. A Hugh sent me. He needs you to come run some lines. Must be a big moment for you, huh? Seeing your idol up close. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I, actually, I've I've never heard of you. No, wait. Weren't you the guy on the internet who tried to eat that chili off the floor? If it's on the floor, it's a it's a buffet. Oh, I take it back. You are my hero. I mean, that was the coolest thing I've ever seen. So are you coming? Huh. So old Hugh suddenly remembers I'm still alive, does he? <laughs> That's typical. You know, back in, back in my day, we didn't rehearse lines or read scripts. And we just got up in front of the camera and acted our guts out. Oh, it sounds like a golden age. Here, let me help you up. Is there a men's room near here? Oh, uh, you know, actually, uh, a car wash would work better. Swing low, sweet chariot, coming for to carry me home. I'd better take this dinosaur back to sound stage one like yesterday. Hang on to your colostomy bag, Clark. This might get messy. Ah, I have not drunk you. Here's that lesbian you wanted. Clark, baby, how long has it been? Are you ready? Don't give me that, you uh, oily, fat sellout. I was ready before your dad brought your mom dinner the night you were conceived. Amy, baby, are you ready? Because this guy could drop dead at any moment. I am now. Wow. Okay, quiet, people. This is a take. And action. Cut! Fairway! Wake him! Oh, Larry, please! This is my big chance! Clark! Prohibition has been reenacted! No more booze! Hey? <clears throat> to, to, to the speakeasy. To what's that? Prohibition's been reenacted, no more booze. Okay, sounds like he's good to go. Now, Larry, you need anything? Eh, looser pants. No, 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 be nervous. We'll get through this together. Clark? Clark? Can someone call a mortician? Because I can't shoot this scene without a star actor. I need a star actor here. Now, what do we do? Damone, I thought you were out of action. Yeah. Yeah, I was, but that was so five minutes ago. I needed to breathe in the smog, clear my head, so I went for a spin. What's up? Yeah, I was driving by and I heard star actor, so of course I thought that you were referring to moi. Damone! Oh, you have perfect timing. Clark has apparently died, and I need a replacement for him. Quick, read this script. See, you're the private dick in this scene. Talking with a sexy and demure witness to the robbery. Hugh. Is that how you, pro is that how you pronounce it? Hugh. Look, I don't need no stinking script. I've got it covered. I'm a star. Yes, you are, Damone. Places, everybody, and roll sound. Bakersfield, C5, scene one, take 980. Mark. Lights. Camera. Action! And cut! Print it! Damone! You rock! Amy, fantastic work. Watching these dailies is going to be so hot, I'm going to need extra bacon grease. Tommy, get on that. I'm serious about the grease. Yep, way ahead of you, H. Hairless, get over here! Uh, what is it? I just thought that since you wanted to be a director one day, I'd give you a chance to watch a masturbator at work. When did I ever say that? Obviously, you think I said masturbator. You really should have your hearing checked because I said master director. Now pay attention here, and you might just learn something about masturbating.
All right, then, let's make sure everything is working. Cameras. And let me just turn on my director viewfinder. Okay, then, I think that's everything. Let's actually get this film rolling. Okay, tape rolling. Quiet on the set. And action! So you see, where is he? Whom do you speak of? Look here, Missy, I know your oily boy hunk is the ringleader of this robbery. Save yourself some heartache, honey, and spill the beans, you see. He's not mixed up in this. You're wrong. Stop playing games, girly. That move ended her career. Besides, we know Sanchez is indeed involved here. Sanchez? Dirty? Never. Camera two. Oh, yes, baby, your Sanchez is dirty. You are wrong. You must have the wrong Sanchez. Camera three. Oh, this Sanchez is dirty, and if I have to, I will smear it all over the paper. You'll never find my Sanchez. He never Camera leaves one. his mark. Oh, he left his mark. I can tell you're lying. It's all over your face. I will never give him up. Okay, little honey, give up his partner. Camera we don't three. know this cat's name, but we have him on camera. We know he wears khakis. You'll never find khakis. Okay, Missy, give up his name. That's all we want. You can walk out of here a free woman. His name is Boogie. Does this Boogie have a nickname or alias? We call him Boo. Gabber two. This Boo, which wears khakis, is he local? I don't know. I just know he's always in your face, that kind of personality. Does Boo Khaki scare you? He can be a handful. Don't worry, we will get every man on the force after Boo Khakis, and no man on the force will rest until we get Dirty Sanchez. Okay, camera You're one. You're very thoughtful. I want you on the main Anything screen else? now. The robbery. We found two bags on the scene, a bag of Chinese tea and a bag full of money. We have a bullet that was fired into the money. Was that Boo Khakis or Sanchez? Boo shoved the tea bag into the teller's mouth to shut her up. Camera three. And the money was shot as a distraction. How many shots did he shoot at the money? One. He panicked and shot through his holster Camera twice. Two. Prematurely. Yes, but he pulled it out for the money shot. That is the shot that matters. That is all. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you. And cut! Well, this is going to be epic. A fine piece of direction, if I do say so myself. Right onto the scoring screen to see how well we really did. What the fuck do critics know anyway, ass wipes? Still, this is where we get our final overview of how we did. As you can see, sometimes the reviews can be harsh... But keep persevering and good ones will come. Well, there you go. That's how you get full power over what happens in this scene. Okay, let's get through this. Ready, set, and action! So you see, where is he? Whom do you speak of? Look here, Missy, I know your oily boy hunk is the ringleader of this robbery. Save yourself some heartache, honey, and spill the beans, you see. He's not mixed up in this. You're wrong. Stop playing games, girly. That move ended her career. Besides, we know Sanchez is indeed involved here. Sanchez? Dirty? Never. Oh, yes, baby, your Sanchez is dirty. You are wrong. You must have the wrong Sanchez. Oh, this Sanchez is dirty, and if I have to, I will smear it all over the paper. You'll never find my Sanchez. He never leaves his mark. Oh, he left his mark. I can tell you're lying. It's all over your face. I will never give him up. Okay, little honey, give up his partner. We don't know this cat's name, but we have him on camera. We know he wears khakis. You'll never find khakis. Okay, Missy, give up his name. That's all we want. You can walk out of here a free woman. His name is Boogie. Does this Boogie have a nickname or alias? We call him Boo. This Boo, which wears khakis, is he local? I don't know. I just know he's always in your face, that kind of personality. Does Boo Khaki scare you? He can be a handful. Don't worry, we will get every man on the force after Boo Khakis, and no man on the force will rest until we get Dirty Sanchez. You're very thoughtful. Anything else? The robbery. We found two bags on the scene, a bag of Chinese tea and a bag full of money. We have a bullet that was fired into the money. Was that Boo Khakis or Sanchez? Boo shoved the tea bag into the teller's mouth to shut her up, and the money was shot as a distraction. How many shots did he shoot at the money? One. He panicked and shot through his holster twice. Prematurely. Yes, but he pulled it out for the money shot. That is the shot that matters. That is all. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you. And cut! Excellent. Well done, you two. Fine job. Just let me watch the playback to see how it came out. So you see, where is he? Whom do you speak of? Look here, Missy. I know your oily boy hunk is the ringleader of this robbery. Save yourself some heartache, honey, and spill the beans, you see. He's not mixed up in this. You're wrong. Stop playing games, girly. That move ended her career. Besides, we know Sanchez is indeed involved here. Sanchez? Dirty? Never. Oh, yes, baby. Your Sanchez is dirty. You are wrong. You must have the wrong Sanchez. Oh, this Sanchez is dirty. And if I have to, I will smear it all over the paper. 
You'll never find my Sanchez. He never leaves his mark. Oh, he left his mark. I can tell you're lying. It's all over your face. I will never give him up. Okay, little honey, give up his partner. We don't know this cat's name, but we have him on camera. We know he wears khakis. You'll never find khakis. Okay, missy, give up his name. That's all we want. You can walk out of here a free woman. His name is Boogie. Does this Boogie have a nickname or alias? We call him Boo. This Boo, which wears khakis, is he local? I don't know. I just know he's always in your face, that kind of personality. Does Boo khakis scare you? He can be a handful. Don't worry, we will get every man on the force after Boo khakis, and no man on the force will rest until we get Dirty Sanchez. You're very thoughtful. Anything else? The robbery. We found two bags on the scene, a bag of Chinese tea and a bag full of money. We have a bullet that was fired into the money. Was that Boo khakis or Sanchez? Boo shoved the tea bag into the teller's mouth to shut her up, and the money was shot as a distraction. How many shots did he shoot at the money? One. He panicked and shot through his holster twice. Prematurely? Yes, but he pulled it out for the money shot. That is the shot that matters. That is all. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you. Kid, when I look at you, you know what I see? Someone at a moral crossroads? Something special. Oh, you mean star quality? Yeah, close. No, actually more like someone who's prepared to do anything and is totally expendable. Really? Huh. I, I did do a little modeling back in my early 20s. Ships and bottles, mostly. That puts you ahead of 90% of my cast. Well, now's your big chance to live out every kid's dream of being a star. So why don't you head down to the Wild West back lot and get fitted for a cowboy outfit? It's time for your big scene. Sex with Amy? Uh, in a way. Bar fight, actually. So you play the role of the guy just off screen who gets the shit kicked out of him? I mean, it's a chance of a lifetime if you got health insurance and about 12 years of professional stunt training. Yeah, actually, I don't think I ought to... Dude, golden opportunities like this shower only come once in a lifetime. That's why they call them that. Uh, thanks, but I'm not easily manipulated. Ah, gee, that's too bad. Amy will be disappointed. Really? Uh, Amy will be kicking the shit out of me? Yeah, I'll have to check the script to make sure, but uh, meanwhile, head down to the costume whorehouse, or they won't let you into my pants. Um, you mean onto the set, right? Yeah, I already told you once. Now hop to it. I don't want to lose this cloud formation. Right now, all I'm after is a costume to get me into the great beyond. Well, that and getting laid. Nice one, I found the cowboy outfit.
Wait, is this chocolate? Uh, no. Hooray for fabric! Now to just find a nice secluded spot to change, my current underwear not exactly being plain view friendly. Uh, I take it they're out of the cool Clint ponchos. Oh well, yippee kai gay! <gasps> that hurt more than prom night. I need to find the director, Hugh. Let him in. He must be an extra dressed like that. Circle the wagons and scout me some squaws. I feel like a regular Roy Clark. Wild West backlot, prepare for a down home cow poking. Oh, cool. If I ever need to daydream about being a big shot cowboy, this looks like the place to come. Now to find Mr. Fancy Pants Director and show him my six shooter. Um, they said they didn't have a cup small enough. No worries. Hi, Larry. Hey. So, does this outfit do anything for you? Not really. All right, Stubman. I want you to imagine that Canary here has murdered your mothers. In fact, he did help cause Ray's death earlier today, so feel free to use that. Safety's for television. Any questions? Um... Relax, Quarry. These guys are professionals. They don't get hurt. Now, quit being such a nanny and concentrate on directing your face and your crotch into the blows. Remember, historical authenticity. Tommy, we ready? Beefcake Mountain scene 69. Is that even possible in this movie? Uh, take one. Mark! And action! Uh, so now I'm giving y'all there till sundown to leave town or suffer a serious corralling. Beaver the Alamo, bitches! Yeah! Hey. 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 Now, clearly, I'm ready to do battle against uh, stuntmen yeah. from any of uh, Sense of accomplishment momentarily numbs the pain. This 
uh, right hand of mine ain't just for rustling my dog, hey. you know. I'll break your back, mountains. And cut! That was fabulous, people! I really like the gratuitous ball busting I'm seeing. Oh. <coughs> <coughs> um, if anybody sees anything small, red, and spleen shaped oh, lying in the sawdust, I think it's mine. Okay, that's lunch. Sandy, what's next? Um, I was thinking we should go handheld. Hey, my rib just popped out of my lung. So, yeah, just let me know where you want me to stand. Are you still here, Yeti? I think we got all the bodies we need for now, so you could go. But don't forget, you're responsible for any damages to that costume. Guess I'll see you later, Larry. Thanks for helping. Amy! Oh, the perfect woman in the perfect body. Oh, who am I kidding? I know the signals. She just wants to keep it professional. Boy, those painkillers I wish somebody had given me are really kicking in. It's like this billboard suddenly come alive and is award-winningly interactive. <laughs>